All right, we up. Hey, hey, Jelly Toast here, back with more. I right, the Somnium Files. Um, so we just did Iris's Somnium again. So now we're in Kumokuro's office. Don't know why, but let's talk with people. Let me make sure I'm actually at the right spot. Yeah. Yeah, so I am in the right spot because this was Ira. Yeah. Okay. What if this is a cycle and we're just reliving the same day over and over? Because this scene looks very familiar to an earlier part. But anyways, um, do you want to call your mom, Iris? Well, that's random. I just thought she might be worried. It's fine. She knows already. I told her I'm with you. I'm sure she's not worried. I'm sure she's super worried. About Denju. Maybe Mr. Okiyoro was a part of Nice. What? Okay, yeah, so we are at the right spot because she's talking about Nice now. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking out loud. What makes you think that? When we were at Sunfish Pocket, my friend said... What's she say? Why is this taking so long to load? He hey Neil, how you Iris. doing? Thanks for joining! Hello, hello, hello! And then later, I almost got kidnapped by Nice. Was that just a coincidence? Ah, uh, thank you so much for the corgi bit! So cute! And not just that. When you found my corpse in the parallel world, you found it in an Okiara warehouse. Uh, Moma just heard that Whoever there was a corpse. Why is this game lagging so much today? Nice. Hmm. That makes me think the Okiaras and Nice are connected. Hopefully, this lag doesn't show up later in the game. Yeah, see, it's lagging. Okay. Oh no, wait, that was just the end of it. How was my day? My day was pretty good. I mean, it was super cold in California today because it rained, so it was 55 all day, so I was freezing. And I was really sleepy at work and I almost fell asleep. <laughs> and I actually wanted to sleep early today, but I was like, no, wait, it's Wednesday and I stream on Wednesdays. But overall, it was a good day. How was your day, Neo? <laughs> Should I do about Renju again or house school? About Renju, since let's stay on topic. Maybe Nice ordered Mr. Okiara to help Number 89 escape. And Number 89 is an assassin. That's a good thing? That's good. The weekend's almost coming. The week is halfway over. If Thank you goodness. If to get rid of me, Mr. Okiara must have... Does she not recognize Number 89 from... Ah! More quirky and more rainbow unicorn! Thank you so much for the bits, Neil! Nope. Have found out about Again, the game is lagging. Why? <laughs> they killed her for getting too close, then displayed the body as a warning. It all comes back to Nice. Once we solve the mystery of Nice at Laws, everything else will fall into place, or so I thought. If you want to know more about Nice, why not ask Ota? Remember what he said yesterday? What did he say yesterday? I know about conspiracies and secret societies too. I find that stuff fascinating. No, I don't want to go back and talk to Ota. I thought I was done with him. Good point. You might have more information for us. No. How school, Iris? Does she even go to school? school? Today's Tuesday. It's not another holiday, is it? No, nope, I'm oh, ditching. Dense. It's Tessa was almost kidnapped. She can't be going to school now. I guess that's true, but... That's it with Iris then. Moma, um, about- where's your lackeys again? When you told me you were coming, I made them leave. See, this is why I feel like this looks like a previous scene, because, again, where are your lackeys? I, I brought Iris to Moma Tessa. again. Like, I'm in a time loop now. About Renju. Unfortunately, I don't have anything new for you. But, uh, I did find out a little nugget of info you might want to hear. What is it? I'll tell you, but, uh... Date, come over here. Again with this? 
Iris, he wants to see your boobs. With his arm over my shoulder, Moma led me to the corner of the room. I'll tell you, Dante, but you gotta do something for me. You wanna shake her hand again? I wanna see her feet. No, 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 no. I, I did that already. I want to see her panties. Okay, that escalated quickly. I'm sorry. I, I, I want to see Tessa's panties. I really, really, really want to see. That's super creepy. She's like 30 years your junior. That is Gotta super freaking creepy. <laughs> hey, Maka, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Yeah, this is She's weird. She's not going to let you. Well, can you at least ask? Oh my gosh. She's never going to want to come back here, dude. She's never going to want to interact with you ever again. Momo and I went back to where we were. Iris, could you do me a favor? Hmm? This guy wants to see your panties. <laughs> Did she hit me? She hit me hard. That's messed up, Date. I know Momo would never say that. But he did. Right, Momo? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah of course. <laughs> Date, you evil pervert. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> you just want a handshake, right? No, he wants a hug this time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, I tried to tell him. <laughs> Iris took Momo's hand and shook it. Dante, this, this is the happiest day of my life. <laughs> I thought that was yesterday. Today it's even happier because he saw you getting punched. Um, about Nanju. Oh. Again. Anyway, what's this intel you got? Check it out. Friday night near Bloom Park, someone saw Renju. Ooh. Friday night. That's when Shoko was killed. And he was killed in Blue... She was killed in Obviously, Blue Park. Obviously, that's not enough to pin the crime on him. But it's but it suspect. it does prove he was there. I guess we should check the merry-go-round again. Oh, man. Like, lately on social media, I've been seeing a lot the of pictures of Danko Bongo. So it. now I'm like, ah, oh, man, maybe I really should play it. If, if, uh, if it's not as bloody and scary as you say it is, Maka, I think I'm... I might want to play that in the future. And we've been there more than No, once don't play it. <laughs> but visual novels, puzzles, I love it. But we might have missed something, right? About nice at laws. Sorry, never heard of them. Are they even real? Yes. Oh, yeah. I mean, of course. <laughs> I've always known Deep down, there must be some kind of secret organization. Play it. <laughs> What's with the contrary messages? Always known it. Uh, about Nice at Laws again. Anyway, I, I got some info about the shootout. Those guys aren't affiliated with any criminal organization we're aware of. They're not Mafia, or Yakuza, or anything. They're a cult. They must have been hired guns. Uh, by... Niza... Matas. It's Niza Laws! Well, how is anyone supposed to know how to pronounce that if they've never heard of it before? Summarize for me. There are three places we can go. First, Bloom Park. I'm curious about Renju being seen there Friday. Oh, game, why are you so laggy? Second, Batsushita Diner. I want to ask Oto more about Nai's. Load! Third, the Sejima estate. Why? Sejima was probably the one responsible for Iris' murder in the parallel world. In which case, he might be a part of Nai's. I need to confront him. Summarize for me again for some reason. Let's go, Iris. Oh, yeah! You're taking Tessa with you? Uh, duh. She'll be safer here. Not with you, panty sniffer. I can't do that. I made her a promise. I will be Iris's garter belt. What? Her what? 
Uh, sorry. Her garter belt? I meant bodyguard. <laughs> A Freudian slip, no doubt. Oh my gosh. Well, whatever. But if you're gonna leave, you should take this with you. I join stream, the first thing I hear is panty sniffer. <laughs> hey, Miguel, how you doing? Thanks for joining. Um, it's because MOBA asked me to ask Iris if she can show MoMA her panties. And he's like, oh, Iris is going to be safe with me, but no. Just wanted her panties. MoMA opened his desk and took out a small object. What's this? A GPS transmitter. MoMA. Iris's phone already has GPS. I know. But in case she gets caught and they throw away her phone or something, it's just an extra precaution. Yeah, it's actually smart. Put it somewhere they won't find it. Like your panties. Thank you. Nothing wrong with wanting to see a cute girl's panties. I mean, that's what's up. I, it is messed up! She's 30 years younger than him! At least! Oh, that's creepy. Iris took out the GPS transmitter and hid it in her clothes. I hope it'll be useful. Date. If Put it in your sock. I'll Socks are hard sure to take off. You regret it for the rest of your life. It'll be fine. Relax. Okay, now we go. We're going to Matsushita Diner first, I guess, to get Ulta sections over with. Cause I hate him. Oh, Mizuki's here too. Ulta and Mizuki were both in the diner. Nice at laws. I see. It's not impossible. Ulta spoke softly to himself, looking deep in thought. I have to talk to all three. Oh, dip down. Where's your mother? She's out right now. I'm not sure where. Shopping, maybe. How do you not know where your mother is? About Iris. Tessa is my hopes and dreams, my peace and my life. We knew that, dude. My light, my star, my sun, my god. Okay, calm down, dude. She's like the laws of the universe itself, the embodiment of beauty. An angel, a lover, a cute mascot to put on a body pillow. Stop it. A guru, a wife, a soulmate, life itself. She's the object of my total devotion and worship. That's not healthy. Snuck lover and wife in there. I would ignore it. Oh my gosh. And like I told you before, I'm Tessa's thrall. If she calls for me, I'll be there. Did he call himself this in this path? No. It was a different path. Thanks, Ota. Or he called him thrall. That makes me happy. Hmm. Are the parallel worlds mixing up now about nice at laws i've heard of them nice at laws or nice is a satanic secret society like a cult they sacrifice children gross why while the sacrifice is up all night screaming the cult performs ritual acts this is freaking messed up their ranks are full of politicians intellectuals and business tycoons they've only been active for a few decades but some say that they've grown to be the largest secret society in the world. An organization so big that it absorbed the Freemasons and the Illuminati. Wait, there's Freemasons and Illuminati in Japan? I thought that was only an American thing. About nice at laws. But even though their membership is huge, no one knows who their leaders are. Like, you've heard of the Rockefellers and the Rothschilds, right? Yeah, super rich dudes. But for nice, there's nothing. No one knows who's running the cult. My guess is that they're being led by a group of super geniuses. Ota doesn't know about the Wanshin system or its connections to Nani. Then he's useless to me. Iris found out, which is why they're after her. Pieces fit. If you believe everything she said. Which I don't. I half believe her. Mizuki, why are you here? Well, Ota... What do you do? Date, can I... Ota gestured and walked over to the corner of the room. I quietly stood up and followed. Look, 
I was gonna let you have it, but under the circumstances. What are you talking about? It's because I didn't come home again last night? Mizuki, of course. You've been neglecting her. Don't you think she's at her limit? Mizuki stayed at one of the mermaid's houses last night. Well, Iris has been dragging me around everywhere. She was twisting and turning all night. They had to sleep in the same bed so she'd calm down. I don't think Mizuki would want to she sleep in the same bed as Dasta, so though. Pick her up. Normally, she'd be in school, but Mizuki had the day off for morning. I thought that she shouldn't be alone. Well, Ulta, I guess you did a good thing. Why good don't job. you try being nicer to Mizuki? Why don't you try being not such a jerk? I know she doesn't show it, but she's really hurting. She needs you, Date. She just doesn't want to trouble you. She's a remarkable, brave young girl. You should try to understand how she feels. I've been going around investigating the whole time. I'm sorry I left you alone for so long, though, Mizuki. About Iris. Who is Iris to me? A friend? A big sister? And I kinda envy her. Cause she has a mother who loves her. Oh, stop it! It's true, though. I look up to you a lot, Iris. <laughs> Uh, do you know where your father is? If you're asking me, he's involved in all this, isn't he? Is he the culprit? No, we're trying to figure that out. Did he really kill mom? We don't know that, Miski. Well, I guess it's understandable that he'd be a suspect. After mom got killed, he didn't even call. And he called me out to Bloom Park for some reason. I thought it was suspicious, but, but... But he's your dad, you can't say no. I pretended not to notice. I didn't want to acknowledge it. I wanted to believe in daddy. Of course you do, he's your dad. Uh, do I have to talk with Iris first? Are you cold? Iris, you look cold. You okay? Yeah, fine. Is your body in a freezer? I just get cold easily. I get cold easily too. The room is 74 degrees Fahrenheit at 62% humidity. Okay, that's not cold. Not conditions often considered cold. About Ota. Who is he to or you? Just like my big brother. He's a hero. Well, I forgot he's older than her. He's really important to me. I like him a lot. As a brother. How much? Three Earths worth. What? Yeah. Is that big or small? About Mizuki. Mizuki is like a cute little sister. And and my favorite friend. I like her a lot. Ha! Huh. I respect her better than you, Ota. How much? About three universes worth. Ha 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 ha. Mizuki, you gotta say your line, or... Okay, yay! I beat Ota! Aww. Game, why are you freaking out today? Summarize for me. Alright, Iris. Let's get going. You got it. Date, if something happens to Tessa, let me know, okay? No. I'll come help right away. No. I don't want you to. Me too! Mizuki, okay. Ota, I'll no. I'll you no matter what, Iris. Thank you both. Now Promise I know why me. I'm so tired today. I went exercising this Promise. morning. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, why am I so drained more than usual? Says you about residence. Let's go, Dad. Father, why don't you love me? Why'd you try to shoot my face? No one's here. There's no one in the garden. It's quiet. So must be inside. Too quiet. Wait, I have detected a living organism in the garden. You should look around. Uh... Oh, 
Whoa! That's Iris's mom! Mother! Zoom. Why is she here? That's so. Next to him is. It told me? It looks that way. Why? What's it told me doing with so? Suspicious. Sate? What's wrong? Your mother's here. Iris hasn't noticed them yet. I decided to ask her about them. You said you don't know So Sejima, right? Right, I don't. What about your mom? Does she know So? I don't know. I don't think she does. Do you ever talk politics at home? Anything like that? Not particularly. Why are you asking me this? Cause look over there! It was at that moment. Two bodyguards dressed in black came running out of the mansion. They had panicked looks on their faces. We told you you can't come in here! You can't do what you want just because you're a cop. You're trespassing. That's a crime, you know. No, we're here because Get of her lost. mom. No use pushing it. If they called HQ, we would get arrested for sure. And what would happen to Iris? Who would protect her? NICE is a huge organization. They have people everywhere. I can't risk being caught. Then I wouldn't be able to save Iris. Fine. No, just say, hey, we're here to meet Let's up with her Iris. mom. Yeah. Why would we not? Ugh. What's the point of discovering her there and then not doing anything? Bye. Por que, Maria? I took Iris to Bloom Park. I took my time checking every inch of the merry-go-round. There's nothing here. Guess not. Why did Renju come here Friday night? Was it to place Shoko's body here? Or did he have another reason? Renju is my friend. I want to believe him, but I don't know how long I could keep defending him. Where is he? What is he doing? I've thought it over a thousand times. My head is heavy with it. Iris suddenly snapped me out of it. Wanna race, Date? Race? Yeah, we talked about it yesterday. You want to challenge me? Well, sure. I don't remember this challenge. Yeah, let's do it! We'll start here and end here. So we race around the merry-go-round? Right. Are we really doing this? Next to me. Oh my gosh, I don't want to really do this. Before I even had a chance to reply, Iris got set. I guess I have no choice. I lined up next to Iris. Okay, here we go. No, I don't want to actually race. Ready? I don't want to push buttons. Set. Go. Okay, I'm not actually doing it. Whew. I couldn't believe my eyes. I thought I must be dreaming. A second after the race had started, I was already two paces behind her. I couldn't close the gap. I watched her back get smaller and smaller. And then she ran so fast, she ran to another parallel world. What was the point of cutting to the sky? See? Told you. Iris is the oh, of the it's because she was on track or something? You've earned your namesake. <laughs> Do you know a lot about mythology? Huh? You said that Iris is a goddess in Greek mythology. And three days ago, you were talking about Egyptian mythology. Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. Yeah, this is the first day I met her. The right eye is the eye of Ra, and that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. That's where I heard Wajet from, because she said it. That's what Iris told me three days ago. Horus's left eye is the eye of Wajet. Does that have any relation with the Wajet system? Oh, mythology? I actually don't know that much. Uncle taught me everything. 
Six years ago, I used to come here with someone all the time. You don't recognize his face. I used to call him uncle. Does she even know what number 89 looks like? Come to think of it. Oh yeah, didn't he come up with Aset too? Yeah, that's right. That name is rooted in Egyptian mythology too. What? What does that mean? About Aset. Horus's mom is named Isis. But in ancient Egyptian, it's pronounced closer to Iset or Aset. Oh, I see. Hmm. How do I explain this? And then English language butchered it about Aset again. Horus's father's name is Osiris, and his mom's name is Isis. So Osiris is Isis's husband. Osiris was assassinated by his brother Set. After Set killed Osiris, he tore his body to pieces and threw it into the river. Gross. Isis was devastated. I can't believe I'm a widow at my age. But she didn't let it break her. Because she had the power of life and death. All right, fine. If that's how it's going to be, I'll just revive my husband. With a group of her friends, she gathered up Osiris's body and started the resurrection ritual. Live! Shkrr! And so, Osiris was revived! Just like that? Well, technically he wasn't all there, so he wasn't in one piece. But anyway, Isis was the goddess of life, death, and fertility. She was worshipped by all the land. About Aset. Continuation. I think I get the picture. But what does that have to do with your own name? There's a theory that the Greek goddess Iris is really based on the Egyptian goddess Isis. So Isis and Iris are connected. Yeah. And Isis sounded Oops. like Aset in ancient Egyptian, which is where your stage name comes from. That's right. But remember, I didn't come up with the name. Her uncle. Number 89. We we don't know that the uncle is 89 at this timeline, though. I think. About the Eye of Wajit. Horus's arch enemy was Set, his uncle. His uncle? I told you earlier. Horus's father was Osiris, who was assassinated by his younger brother Set. Right. I Oops. Not only was he killed, Fast X too quickly. he was shredded to pieces. Let's just have the dialogue so auto go. Obviously, Horus was pissed. Drats! I'll never forgive you, Uncle Set. On the other hand, Set didn't like having Horus around. Ugh, he's so annoying. Osiris said that I was supposed to be king. But now everyone's like, oh, Horus should be king. Are these idiots serious? Horus would be an awful king. Time to go to war! And so, a bloody war broke out. Just like that. And the winner was decided by a deadly game. What kind of game? A game of war. They would disguise themselves as hippos, ford the river, and whoever gets to the other side first would win. That's what they decided. How oddly specific. So, for 80 years they fought. It was bloody and horrible. 80 years just to be turned into hippos? That seems excessive. I came in at a really weird time. Yes, you did. Also, hey Web, how you doing? Thanks for joining. For some reason, we're having a history lesson about Egyptian mythology, specifically regarding Isis, Osiris, Seth, and Horus. Hello, friend! In the end, Horus won. Horus used a spear to cut off Seth's foot and Wee Wee! <laughs> wee Wee? <laughs> wee Wee! I believe she is referring to a male... Wait, why are you asking me? <laughs> but Horus didn't come out of this unscathed. During the battle, he also lost Horus his wee wee. Lost his left eyeball to Set. <laughs> it is said that the left eye survived and traveled all over Egypt, gaining wisdom and experience. Horus had no idea that his left eye was wandering around on its own. What? Where did my eye go? Horus was totally bummed out. He went to see the god of wisdom, the moon, and time, Thoth. Damn, Set did that? That's brutal, dude! All of these right. names I I'll know from Persona and Shin Megami Tensei names. Yay, thank you, Mr. Thoth! Okay, here it goes! Moon healing power! And that's Sailor Moon. Ring, ring, ring! Thoth cast his spell and Horus's eye came zooming in! Zoom, click! 
Horus got his eye back. And he leveled up with all the experience his eye got. And from that day forward, his left eye had the power of the moon in it. It became the symbol of knowledge and healing, and revered as a sacred icon. So that's the Eye of Wadjet? Right. And it became the Eye of Providence? Yes. And do you think that's why we call it the Wadjet system? <laughs> Probably, yeah. How did you get so fast? I told you yesterday, I love moving around. And I especially love dancing. But... Hmm? About three months ago, Mr. Ogira told me something. He said, don't dance he anymore. He said that I can't dance. Ooh. Why? Because I that's how you beat he nice said at laws. He being over-reliant on dancing and neglecting my singing. You should stop dancing for now and practice singing. But during your live stream... She was dancing. Because I was sad. After I dancing, dancing is against I so the law. Fans. They said terrible things to me. Like that I'm worthless if I can't dance. All I have is dancing. Just dancing. Just dance. Summarize for me. In the end, we didn't find any new information on Nanju. But I'm not too upset. This is what a criminal investigation is about. You don't always find what you're looking for. Let's get going, Iris. Yeah, let's go. Where am I? Back to marble? Where the dude shot me? Good idea. <laughs> what am I going to find at marble? Where are we going next? Marble and Golden Yokocho. <laughs> Wasn't that where we were attacked by knives? Yeah, why are we going back? It'll be fine. I didn't tell anyone we were going there. They won't be waiting for us. What if there's Besides, they decide to just wait in just in case? Twice. But why Marble? No reason. I just need to talk to Mama. What if Mama's what? dead? I hope Mama's not dead. Mama's not dead. Sorry I couldn't come last night. No, no, don't worry about it. It was better that you didn't. Huh? You didn't hear? There was a shootout. There was a shootout right in front of the bar. They closed all of Golden Yokocho down. They were saying something about hitmen suddenly pulling out guns and shooting. They were trying to kill a man and a woman. There are porno mags littered all over the street. Wait a minute. Yep. I told Mama about last night and about Nice at Laws too. Mama! Introduce Iris. Wait, doesn't she already know Sorry Iris? For the late introduction. They not know each other? This is Iris. Oh no, he, nice Mama met Mizuki. You. I'm Aset, you bet! Oh, sorry, have it. I meant Iris. Oh my, you are so cute. Are you a virgin? You oh my gosh, why would you ask that to a person? Oh, yeah. What a coincidence. Me too. Oh my gosh, Aiba. <laughs> oh, you don't say. <laughs> um, about nice at laws. Sorry, honey, but I don't know a thing about that. You're an informant. I'm sure you must know something. I'm well versed in local information. I know all about Tokyo's underworld, but I can't say much about the rest of the world. About the armed men. I think they must be foreign mafia. Some kind of international organization. They would do anything for money. Nice must money, have money, money, them. money, money. Money. Uh, summarize for me. Mama, I want to ask you something. What is it? Those gunmen were waiting for us. Did you tell anyone we were coming? That's right. You did tell Mama that you were coming. And that you were bringing Iris. Hmm. Well... I told Anju. I 
did tell one person. Oh. Who? The person I was going to have you meet, of course. Ah. Same guy who gave Ren his watch. What's his name? Futa, I think. Huh? Futa Amanoma. Who? <gasps> what? Wait, no, I don't recognize his name. <gasps> Pewter? Yes. Pewter. Wait, that's Pewter's real name? What? Wait. What? Wait, let me talk with Iris to get all these dialogue options out of the way. She don't want to drink. What should we ask? Mama, what are you doing? Hmm, just polishing the bonito. It is not well known, but dried bonito is a fermented food. They are boiled and Wait, dried, what was the significance of meeting with um this person again? It gave Renju his watch. Attraction sessions and results in high quality bonito. And Mama did... is cleaning off the mold right now. Did this person also? Did Pewter also know about? The, yeah, he definitely knew about the first Cyclops killing cases. Oh yeah, what do you think of Mama? No, oh, aren't you nice? Are you looking for a job? Iris is still in high school. How about after you graduate? Starting rate is six million yen an hour. Yo, give me that job. I need a body so I can work here. Immediately. Sixty thousand dollars an hour? Hell's yes. Okay, anyways, uh, this headquarters. Pewter, you're not telling me all the info. What are you hiding from me? Whoa, my shin feels like it has muscles. Sorry, totally weird comment. Shins can't have muscles. It's only bone there. There's no one here. Maybe he went home. No, that can't be. Pewter is definitely around here somewhere. How would you know? Date, your intuition is correct. There's a heat signature. <gasps> is he I'm dead? A living organism Wait, no, it's living organism. That means he's not I dead. It. We're gonna have to x-ray him. Is Pewter in here? No, he's not. Wait, I can't examine the sink area? Damn it. Strange stirrings of characters and figures scroll across the monitor. Um, lockers! X-ray. Hello, pewter. Bastard. Fancy meeting you in a locker. Wait a minute! Why are you hiding in a locker? Uh, okay, I'll tell you everything. It better be the truth! You told those men that Iris and I were going to Golden Yokocho, didn't you? Yes, I did. Why? Renju hired them. Renju did? Which means Mr. Okiura is in with Nice. Nice? Don't play dumb. I know you're with them. I don't know what you're talking about. I was just helping Renju. Why? Did you help number 89 get away? Yes, he did. How much does she know? Just answer the question. He purposely was a weakling. Yes, I did. Pewter. <laughs> How was number 89 able to escape from Metro so easily? And you were the one being held hostage. If you were helping him the whole time, it all makes sense. Pewter. Oh my gosh, I want to slap your face now. About Renju's watch! Is it true that you were the one who gave Renju his watch? Yes, that's true. Why? There was no need to ask anything else. Why did Pewter help Renju? His last answer was all I needed to hear. What last answer? About number 89's escape. Two days ago, Renju escaped from the hospital. Renju asked me on the phone to report everything about Shoko's murder case. That's what he wanted. Yesterday, the boss told me that number 89 was coming. Then, 
Renju asked, Is there any way we can let number 89 escape? Are they like brothers conflicted. or something? They kind of look I similar. I thought hard about it, but it was Renju asking. Someone I love. And he sounded like he was on death's doorstep. Love? He was begging for help. Are they that close no. friends or with my does Peter I like him romantically? Able to come up with a plan. You know what the results were. About number 89's escape. Continuation. The escape happened exactly how I described earlier. Though I wasn't being threatened with a gun. You were acting, huh? Just pretending to be his hostage. Yes. Did number 89 know about the plan? Of course. We discussed it when we were alone in the interrogation room. Naturally, he agreed. I imagine he would have taken any possibility of escape. Even if we failed, he was already serving a life sentence. Uh... Why was Boss not present at number 89's interrogation? I may not look it, but I have connections high up at HQ. Friends from my college days. I asked one of them to call up the boss. Why did Renju escape with 89? I don't know. It's true. Please, believe Not me. the answer I want to hear. Renju said that he needed him. That's all I know. Where's Renju? I see. So where is Renju? Even if I knew, why would I tell you? Because you're going to because die. Because you don't want more holes in your body than you already have. You can't. Why not? Date, I didn't tell you all this because you were threatening me. I genuinely wanted you to know. To understand. Understand what? The truth, Date. What are you talking about? There's a variable you haven't considered. I made Iba. And? You don't get it? <laughs> Date, his hands! Is he disabling her? Oh my gosh. Pewter, you bastard! Date! Now, come with me. Oh my gosh! So Boss wasn't shady? It was Pewter who was shady the whole entire time? Oh my gosh, why is everyone freaking backstabbing me in this game? Damn it, Peter. I'm getting Daddy, real sick of this. Down, or it will compromise your ability to drive. Uh, if you crash, you will not be able to save Iris. I know the ending cuz my coworker showed me. Where what? How did your coworker show you? I don't know. So then where the hell am I going? How would I know that? You acted on your own. What about her phone's GPS? I tried. It's been turned off. She has another GPS on her. Then... If the game will load it, there it's we just go. Just an extra precaution. Put it somewhere they won't find it. I will call Mama now. On it. Wait. Uh. Oh, he told you. About the real true ending? Because there's. I explained the situation as fast as I could. Because there's um, multiple character endings, but then one real, real, real ending. He tells you the real, real. Ah, the real true? Ah, damn it! Right now, I need you to tell me where she is. She tells you the true, true. After a short pause, Moma yelled out. Don't get you to fishing warehouse! Ah! That's where the cold storage warehouse is. The coworker sucks. As long as I don't find out the ending until I reach it. Oh, you asked? Because <laughs> you wanted to know. Turns out everyone dies. Honestly, I would not be surprised if everyone died. I need Pewter to die. I need Pewter, Nenju, Ota, and maybe possibly Iris to die again. Oh, and Sol. 
It was all a dream and a Game of Thrones spinoff? No. No! They ruined Game of Thrones! There's so many dudes. How am I gonna get through? Holy crap. Yo, mama bringing boys out here. Wait, something? Zoom. Something. There are portable barricades set up in two areas in front of the warehouse. Portable? They can be moved and erected easily. Portable barricades in two spots around a warehouse. Okay. Another something? Soon. Something! Those are the guys who attacked us at Golden Yoga Show. The mercenaries. How many? I detect more than we can see. They are positioned all over the area, surrounding the warehouse. Armed men! Each of them carries an assault rifle. Getting through will not be an easy task. <sighs> Looks that way. Well then what can I do? Um, can't examine the ocean. That's arms, men. Can't examine the crane. Hey, right, there's another something. Ah, uh, something. Sue? Something, a van. There's a black van parked at the end of the harbor. Anyone inside? There are two ways to find out. Walk over, knock on the window, and open the door. Or x-ray it. Or you can use the x-ray mode. There's a van at the end of the harbor. I need to see inside. Van. X-ray. Iris! That's... It's Iris. Damn it. Is she okay? Unknown. But at least we know she's alive. The issue now is reaching her. All right, let's do this. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Are you dead? Wait, did you come by yourself? They're going to blow your brains out. They got guns? Yeah. Yeah, not just one or two. They all have assault rifles and they're everywhere. You can tell? Even in the dark? Have you forgotten that I found out what was inside your safe? <laughs> I have superpowers. I can see in the dark and I have x-ray vision. I'm Japanese Superman. Oh, shit, you were serious? I nodded, then told him about the rest. That Iris is in the van at the end of the harbor. And that there are two portable barricades on the way there. After I laid it out, I stared into his eyes. We need a plan. Can you help me? Yeah, sure I can. But I need to ask you a few things first. Uh, what did you want to ask? Number one. The jackoff who took Tessa. Pewter, right? What's his deal? I think Renju asked him to do all of this. Renju? And Pewter did it because he loves him! I told Momo about Renju and Pewter's relationship. Oh, that's right. Renju was looking for Tessa. Not only that, in a parallel world, I found Iris's body at the Okiura Fishery Warehouse. I've got a bad feeling about this. Uh, what did you want to ask? Number two. So these bad guys, why did they take Tessa? The van's at the end of the row. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse is right there. They must be planning on taking her inside. Right now, they're probably getting it ready. They've got lookouts waiting outside. What did you want to ask? Number three. Tessa's in the van down there, right? Yeah. In that case, why don't we go around the back? Unfortunately, that is impossible. But why? The warehouses are flush with the water. The only path to the van is down the front. Well, that sucks. 
I relayed that information to Mama. Shit. Guess it won't be that easy. ATV. That appears to be a military grade all terrain vehicle. Mama, that vehicle. That's one of ours. I got it from the army. It's bulletproof. Even the windows. Guess what we're using to I drive. We were trying to run a non-violent gang. Well, that's exactly why. We got rid of our offense, so we needed a little defense. I suppose that makes sense in a way. Moma, summarize for me. So, what's the plan? Uh, well. While I was coming up with a plan, a car emerged from the darkness. Chicken in the darkness. Is it Ulta? Yes, it is. How did you guys know? Mizuki, Ota, what are you doing here? What do you mean? You contacted us. What? What? I sent a denial message to both of them. Oh my gosh, Iba, why? Why? Oh, because someone needed to know where we were, just in case. If things go south. If something happens to Tessa, let me wow, know. Wow, this okay? guy sure needs to pay better attention. He always needs people to summarize. I'll save you I know, right? It's Irene. like I feel like in the other past we really Promise didn't need me. the summarize for me option, but lately Promise. it's just like summarize for me, summarize for me, summarize for me. Like, gah! A promise is an inviolable protocol. It must be followed. Do you know what a white lie is? No, I am an AI. You always pull out that excuse when it's convenient. Yak, 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 yak. Besides, Mizuki can be very helpful. Heck yeah, she can. And Ota? He's a meat shield. Can be used as a shield. Nice! Now that's cruel, even for me. No, it's not. Uh, Date? Who are the kids? Iris' Don't best buddies. Who's the old man? I sighed and shook my head. I made the introductions quickly. So your sixth grade roommate and a knee who's trying to get his life novel published? <laughs> what good are they? You don't look very useful yourself, old man. I like yeah. using Ota as a shield. All short and yeah, scrawny. I think that's the best idea ever. Shut up, I'm not short. The earth is just big. Ulta, you're shorter than him. And you're short too! No way. This isn't even my final form. Yes, it is. You're All well past college. Enough. I can get three times bigger than this. Liar! This went on for a bit. I finally got fed up and shouted at them. Listen up, you idiots. Iris is in you're danger. You're here because you're all ASET fans. Water. Wet. Sweat. ASET! Fears. Upset. Regret. ASAP. Gambling. Roulette. Bed. ASAP. Oh my gosh. Hey! Yes, yeah! yes! That makes no sense. Oh. All right. Let's work together and get our Tessa back. Yeah! I don't want to do any more gun unite. sequences, please. Please. No gun sequences. Yeah! Shoulder to shoulder. Heart to heart. We stand. Show no mercy, for you shall receive none! Give them ah! nothing, but take from them everything. Become good friends. Iris has They're useless. Porno bag sequence! Good. It's working. <laughs> Here, it's raining more porno bags! <laughs> I explained the situation to Mizuki and Ota. Here's the plan. Ota, can you drive that vehicle? It's bulletproof, so don't worry, they can't shoot you. Yes, sir! Moma, I need your trigger finger. Get on the back with me and shoot any gun. No, I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot. And Mizuki, you're our secret weapon. If it all goes south, we're going to need your powers. Leave it to me. Hey, Dante, what are you going to have her do? Punch she people. She not look it. She's something else. They won't take her down without a fight. You sure about this? Yup. You should worry more about yourself, Moma. So, now you know your job. But Misuki, you're not bulletproof, so be careful. This is how we get through. I'm 
sure I don't need to tell you, but our objective is to reach the end of the harbor. We need to rescue Iris from that van and then get the hell out of here. Any questions? All right, let's do this. Yeah, let's lock do it. Load. Do it. We're coming for you, Tessa. On three, one, two, three, go! go! And so Operation Iris Rescue began. Who's the dude, by the way? Does he have a thing for the idol? Um, the dude is named Moma. He is a Yakuza boss. He likes Iris. He wanted to see her panties. He's a Yakuza, but trying to stay away from violence. Yep, yep, exactly. Per perfect description. Even though he's trying to stay away from violence, he has guns, which is weird. Hey, look! Is that a tank? All right. Let's do this. Oh yeah, Japanese people don't see Hummers. I don't want to shoot! Kill him! Just ram into them, dude. They don't see guns either, but this Damn. game has a ton There's of them. Oh yeah, true! I don't think my rifle can handle this many. I have to think of something. Run them over with the car. How about that? Or blow up that oil drum. Cool. No, I'm gonna have to do shooting sequences, damn it. Date, follow my instructions carefully. Date, I have a plan. Just do it! <laughs> Is it a good plan? Just listen. <laughs> you still have that pornographic magazine, right? What? When did I pick one up? Don't act innocent. Last night you went back to Golden Yokocho. You found one of those magazines and hid it in your clothes. He didn't find know? just one. He found a lot. On your left eye, Date. Of course I would know. Oh gosh, here we go. In any case, here we go. The no. Why not? This is a collector's item. It's SSR. I can't just throw it away. Oh my gosh, SSR. So I started watching Agent Carter. Iris or the series on Arrows. Disney Plus. And Peggy mm -hmm. Carter works for the SSR. <laughs> Iris. Good. Hurry, they're closing in. Oh, uh, uh, wait, can't, can't we? Okay, gotta stop yawning. Gotta have my hands on the controller. Whoa! My brain was not registering that. <laughs> Take this! Whoa, porno bag! What? Could it be? The legendary? Oh, this is amazing. No one back home will believe me. <laughs> Finding a porno mag is something to write home about. Wow. Now blow up the oil drum. Date, now shoot the drum. Yeah, if you let me. <laughs> Now's no time for crying. <laughs> The drum contains flammable liquids. Do you understand? Fine, I got it. Bye bye, magazine. It's not like you could pick it up later. It's gonna go bye bye. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Load up the pink, load up the pink, load it up, load it up, load it up. R2, R2, R2. There we go. <gasps> wow, I had half a second left before it was gonna fail. Woo! Oda. On it. SSR means super secret Russians. Um. Oh man, I don't remember what SSR stands for from Agent Carter. <laughs> but supposedly she was part of the SSR even in World War II, in Captain America, the first There's movie. Still more of them. And no more oil drums to blow up. Because I didn't I realize that Shield wasn't here. made then. Wait.
Iba, any ideas? Hmm. Let me see. Drop the Yatoda thing. Do 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 do. Doctor, last night you picked up something else, didn't you? Another porno mag. I told you, don't act innocent. Oh, he picked up the I'm bra. About the panties and bra you shot down in Golden Yokocho. Oh my gosh, you stole it. Innocent ladies' underwear. Enough with your pathetic excuses. He picked up herpes. <laughs> Just aim under the container. No. Damn it, Date. I was gonna give this to Rika as a gift. Oh my gosh, Rika don't want Someone it. Someone else's underwear. Wine and underwear are best when aged. Oh, not when someone else That's wore it. In France. It's gross. That is not true. Dante, what are you doing? Iris is in trouble. Yeah, Dante, it's not funny anymore. Dante. Okay, okay. I just gotta throw it, right? Ah. <sighs> What buttons? What buttons? I mean, the very first time the porno Goodbye. mag thing showed up, it was funny. The second time, it was like, ha ha ha, he still like this. What the hell? This is just beating a dead horse now. It's just like, stop. It's not funny. This must be a gift from heaven. So wet, as wet as it gets. Ew. So dirty. Shameless. Absolutely shameless. Oh my gosh. He was going to give used bra and panties as a gift. Yeah, Tate isn't the smartest dude. Good. That went well. Now, if we can cause that container above them to fall. I see it. I could shoot the cable. Can you make the shot? Oh man, it's swinging. Then let's go. Uh, it's swinging though. Oh, it's not swinging that much. Okay, cool. Come on, come on. Fill up, 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 fill up. Oh, I almost failed again. Whoo, that's nerve wracking. Don't you remember this is the same guy who made the Nonary games? Yeah. Oh shit, move! I remember, but. You know, constantly having the. Oh no, throw the porno mag! Let's I go. don't want to throw the porno mag. Watch. Like, just stop it. At least with um, Virtue's last reward, the banter between Sigma and Phi being like, "Oh, you're a creepy old man. Oh, stop checking me out." Like, they kind of stopped it towards the, the middle one. of the game. Once we get through here, then. What's the plan? Find them. My turn. Yes, thank you, Mizuki. Wait, Mizuki! Oh, that idiot! I mean, Tate, you were taking a long time to shoot anything, so. You know. Ah, oh, damn it, I still have to shoot again? Tate, Mizuki can't do this alone. Oh, now that Mizuki's in danger, he's like, gotta act fast. Loma, cover me. Hey, wait up! Who am I gonna shoot? What am I gonna shoot? Ah! Bashing triangle, bashing triangle, bashing triangle. Come on. Okay, did it. Ooh. Yeah, I don't want to shoot anymore. How is she not getting hit by any of the bullets? Are these guys complete amateurs? Seriously? Don't test me, motherfucker! This is so awkward. This is 
Uh, I'm chilling and enjoying this as much as I can, as long as I don't have to do any more gun inputs. I wish this guy would have stuck to 2D. Yeah. The 3D models in this game aren't the greatest. Mizuki! Ah! What do I do? What do I press? What do I push? Nothing. Okay, good. Thank you, Mama. Now let's get Iris. And blow this popsicle stand. Thank you. Now we're onto the van. Get Iris. Get out. My goddess, your chariot has arrived. Oh my gosh. Date! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, it was Ota. I thought another new Ota. person came in. Mission complete. Oh, that was scary. All right, got it. How did Date jump over the side of that jeep? What? Hello, pewter? Did you want this to happen? The erotic legend of Atlantis, what? What did she grab? What did who grab? This game kind of sucks, to be honest. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot to read the text. Momo got behind the wheel of his vehicle, Ulta took the van, and I got into my own car. Mizuki went with Ulta, and Iris came with me. We drove off as fast as we could in different directions. The rain poured down endlessly. The neon lights of the city blurred faintly through the fine drops of rain. Iris, she grabbed something? Um... I didn't see what her other hand grabbed, but her left hand held Dacta's hand. I think I was just in so much shock that Dacta would pick her up in like Dacta, a princess hold. Mama and Mizuki contacted us. They're all safe. Good. I breathed a long sigh of relief. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm a lot better actually. I'm sorry, by the way, for everything. During our escape, Iris got motion sickness. I decided to pull over at Ikume's shrine so she could rest. Oh, and thank you. I never thanked you for saving me. You should be thanking those three. Some bodyguard I am. I put you in danger. That's not true. If it wasn't for you, I would have... Anyway... Died a lot sooner. To say, but thank you. Uh, did Pewter say anything? Nothing in particular. I didn't talk to him at all in the car. What about the group of gangsters? They were all speaking different languages, so I didn't understand anything. Oh, so I wasn't supposed to understand them. About the winter iris. Looking at the iris again? Oh, yeah. I can't see it well in the rain. You must really like that flower. Of course, we share the same name. Iris, the rainbow goddess. Yeah, that's what uncle taught me. The uncle again. But how do you not recognize the uncle? It's not the flower itself that Iris likes. Listen to her story. Do you think this sort of may be my last chance? Exists? Legend about the shrine? Yeah. This is your story you now. <laughs> I see. But you do believe in parallel worlds and secret societies. Because I experienced that in Iris' Somnia. This could be a negative side effect of the sink. It is possible that you've been emotionally compromised by Iris's morbid inner consciousness. Morbid. Emotionally. All uncle wants is for no, Iris to get all the talismans. No <laughs> One more thing. About uncle. I used to love uncle. And now I hate him. Romantically. I was 12 at the time, and uncle was already in a relationship. With my mom. You mean with your mom? Oh, you knew about that? I've heard a lot. I 
like the Okonomiyaki incident? Yeah, the picture I drew. Right. We were always like that. We always acted silly and played around and stuff. I remember that in sixth grade, Uncle and I used to play hand games. Hand games? What are hand games? Like what? Um, like ratty cakes. Ha! <laughs> ratty cakes. It's like patty cakes mixed with rock, paper, scissors. Ratty cake, ratty cake, baker's man. Rock, paper, scissor. Cake as fast as you can. Pat it, poke it, fill it with fruit. Put it in the oven. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. I win, I win. That's Yay! stupid. Just play normal rock, paper, scissor. It's a lot shorter. I was so sad when I found out Uncle and Jade weren't real. They're real? What was Uncle's real name? I don't know. I only called him Uncle. Mama called him Falco. Falco! Falco. <laughs> Isn't it a funny name? Sort of weird for a Japanese man. He ain't Japanese! Oh, maybe he wasn't Japanese. I never found out where he was from. Before he met me, he committed some terrible crime. Called murder. It appears that Hitomi and the assassin number 89 were dating. What? Now you have to take the penalty! Die for me! Twelve-year-olds do not play like that, but okay. And number 89 is with Renju now. What the hell is going on here? Is Renju just trying to bust 89 out so that he can just go live with Hitomi forever in happiness? Listen to her story. I didn't keep my promise. Promise? Did you forget? Jackie Chan was real, but Uncle and Jade were characters. Oh, you meant like real life people. Oh, yeah. Uncle and Jade were just cartoon characters. Guess I'll tell you now. Sunday at 2 Tanaka? I was visited by. Renju Okiura. What? Oh my gosh, you've been lying to me the whole time? I hate you, Iris! He seemed really sick. Probably because of his injury. At the time, I had no idea what had happened to him. He was sweating buckets, and he came up to me with this begging look in his eyes. He said, come with me. He seemed really desperate. I couldn't say no. So I got into his rental car. We went somewhere, I don't know where, some deserted building. Mr. Okira got out of the car, then grabbed my hand. He tried to pull me inside. I got scared. I pulled my hand away and ran. <sighs> Nobody don't Google her. Oh, okay. Wait, what? What happened? What? Happened to Denju. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me this? Mr. Ogira has done so much for me. He took care of me as a kid. He helped me at Lemnus. We're dealing with a murder case here, you fool! No matter what happens, I can't think of him as a bad person. Oh my gosh. You're an idiot, though. I mean, he never did anything bad to me. Except take you to a deserted he building. In the morning and try to take me to an abandoned building, but. And that doesn't strike know. you as shady or creepy or Maybe weird. He wanted to show me some flowers or something that he found. This girl's dumb. It was like a prank. He was filming for the internet or something. A prank at 2 a.m. with That's no one else around. Me. That's what I kept telling myself. Oh my gosh, this girl's so dumb. She deserves to die. Everything you've told me, I can't see Mr. Okira the same way. Maybe he's a part of nice. Maybe no. He's trying to. What did you do after you ran away? 
Well, I didn't go home. I thought he might come back. I just walked around and went into remote a play stores, together is available on Steam. Coffee shops, net cafes. I was afraid that he would try to call me, so I turned off my phone too. And then at night, around seven, I think, I turned on my phone and got a Nile message from Mizuki. I want to stay at your place. I met up with her and took her home. I thought having her around would comfort me. I don't know. And where was your mother during all this? Where did he take you exactly? Iris, I need you to tell me one thing. Where did Renju take you? Where did he take you exactly? It's been closed for eight years. Bloom Park? The chemical plant in the Kabasaki Oh, the chemical district. plant. What happened to Denju? I don't know. I haven't seen him or spoken to him since. So the whole time I was asking other people about where Renju is, she was just like, Herp derp, I'm not gonna tell you what I know, stupid girl. You don't seem very excited. I don't know what remote play together is. So after this, you're gonna play Death Stranding for 50 hours, right? No, <laughs> I can't play Death Stranding. Um, I tried to watch other people play, but um, the camera makes me dizzy. And also, like, when the stack of packages gets too high, and, like, it wobbles back and forth, even that makes me, like, kind of dizzy. I wanted to try to play it because I like the UI design. And I love the sound effects, but... <sighs> it just makes me too dizzy. It seems boring. Yeah, I, that's what I heard from a lot of people. It's just like a bunch of cutscenes in the beginning. And then like 35, 40 hours of just gameplay, boring, nothingness, exploring. And then just a whole chunk of cutscenes at the end. It's like, why didn't you just make a movie, dude? But who knows? Looks really boring. Uh, so you know how games only have local co-op? Yes. Did you see the Dunkey review? Yes, I did. But I was also trying to watch some, um, other streamers, uh, play the game. I did see, the, um, the part where Conan shows up in, in Death Stranding. So, that was funny, but, you know, everything else, I'm just like, why? Um, Steam makes it so you could play local co-op only games online. I don't play any co-op games though. <laughs> like the only co-op games I'm playing right now are Pokemon Sword because I raid together Is with my own place? co-workers. Yes. Where did Renju try to take you? That door in the back. Oh wait! This is the warehouse that was in Iris's very first Somnium. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be a bad end. Is she part of Nice? She's trying to kill me! A sink machine! This is Iris's Somnium room. This is where the original Cyclops killer. This is. A sink machine. Though it appears to be slightly different than the one in Abyss. Could this be the prototype Pewter was talking about? Am I gonna have to sink again? The Chiba Police Department was working on a prototype, but it was stolen six years Tales ago. Tales of Sephodia's local co-op? Oh, I did not know that. I didn't know Tales could be co-op. Hey, Iris, are you okay? The heck? Why'd she fall down? Iris, stay with me! Date, Iris's vital signs are going critical. Why? What? Why? Unknown. But I believe the issue is with her brain. The pewter inject her with something? Part of her brain is experiencing massive failure. If this continues... Bum, bum, bum. Let's get her to a hospital. Impossible. She'll die before then. Do not have enough time. I estimate that I have more minutes before the damage is irreparable. How do you know that? I 
has scanned and analyzed her thoroughly. Her symptoms indicate that she will die within minutes. What sickness does she have? While well, playing through the story, you can literally have three other people playing with you. Oh, whoa! What? I'll use the you can fight together with up to four people. Oh, brain. her brain no work too good. It never works too well. I'm not trying to cure her. Two days ago, I saw her dead body. After that, we went into Sosajima's brain, and in his somnium, I saved Iris. So we're trying to jump to a different timeline, I guess. Somehow, I saved Iris in the real world too. Bum, 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 bum. Maybe you were in a parallel world or something. Do the same thing again. You think you can save her? Is this all still Monday? No, wait, I, Tuesday? Help me. Is that an order? Yes. Yes. And I suppose I have no choice. My mission is to support you. All right. We don't have a lot of time. Let's get moving. Dang, I'm sinking with Iris a lot. And I don't want to go inside her mind all this much. This device is a prototype. It is not identical to the one at Abyss. You said that already, so what? I do not know how to reset it. There must be a manual of some kind. We need to find that before we But that's not how parallel worlds work. If you jump to another world, this Iris still dies, but this Date goes away, so the world loses both Iris and Date. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense, but... This is the console that controls the sync machine. So if we use this... The machine can be activated, but we need the manual first. Manual. Shelf? A lot of stuff here, but no manual. Classic bucket! Nothing inside. No manual here, in the locker. Shelf A. Dante, is that... that thing on the shelf? What? Manual! I don't believe it. It's not butter! Why is it raining inside the warehouse? That does not seem safe. What? Do you have to punch her? What do you have to do? What? What was that? He said, I don't believe it. Date, are you ready? What? Yeah, let's go. Just check the cubbies or whatever. I'm sure there's a manual somewhere. My brain just heard to her now too. Maybe I'm dying. One can only hope. We're all slowly dying. <laughs> Also, why was he like, I can't believe it. Was Iris a test subject for this? Oh, my word. Forge again? This looks kind of like the other time I synced with Iris, but there's a different atmosphere now. It looks like the shrine. Hmm. By the way, what happened to your usual appearance? I decided to hold back this time. This is no time to be playing around. Putting that aside, you want to help Iris, correct? Then we need to hurry. How is this going to split so what off, do we need though? To do? Care to ask the owner of this world? She's lost consciousness, even in her own somnia. It's Shadow of the Colossus. That proves how critical her condition is. Whoa! Oh my gosh. What was that? I do not know, but it appears as though we have no choice but to believe those words. The fruit of immortality, huh? But I don't see any fruit. We need to do something. When you place authority, make sure to have all your viewers play with you. I but I don't know how that's gonna deal then, with lag and whatnot, and I don't know how to show Steam games on 
Streamlabs. Really oh, is Shadow of the Colossus. Mm -hmm. An unconscious girl at an altar. You gotta give her fruit or like shadow jams. Ooh, okay. Mental lock two. It's a pentagram! Holy crap! Mental lock three. Mental lock four. Let's see if there's any branching paths. Sink it in the main two. Save Iris. To save her, you'll need to give her the fruit of immortality. Okay, there's only one path I could possibly go to. Um, hold up, I want to see the flow chart. Because it doesn't seem like the blue would have been that long. Okay, it zoomed out more, so I'm here. I don't Maybe one more cutscene after this and then... I should save, just to be safe. Save. I'll save here. Satan be with us, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. At least there isn't any like silly music in this omnium. An egg-shaped monument. It looks more like a sugar cube to me. Uh place on pedestal? Because this is mental lock number one. I see. Putting this here cuts off the light. I feel like I've seen this in a movie. Don't you mean you've seen this in Iris's Somnium? Just put it down. What, fifth element? Pentagram! Yeah. Didn't expect that. No, this is... Oh, I wait, see. we need to put one more thing. Did you figure something out? Trying to complete the shape of a star. This might turn oh, into a pentagram. Oh, I get it. That means... Yes, hmm. that leaves this remaining. What? Chozuya. A Chozuya. Uh, stick my hand in it, I guess? Let me see. Hmm, there's something here. Oh my <sighs> Mother flippin', I hate you. Frickin' scared me. A monument. If you place it against the light, it will complete the pentagram. Do it. Ah! What? Oh my gosh, we have to dance again. They have appeared before. It may symbolize Iris's insecurities. Whoa! <gasps> oh my gosh! We have to deal with them before we find the fruit of immortality. Well, what do you want me to do? They don't want us to complete the pentagram. This freaking sucks. Is that why they attacked the Chozuya and Iris's? But this pedestal has not been attacked. They cannot attack it for some reason. You think so? What other explanation could there be? As long as there is even a slight possibility, we must try. You're right. Thinking about what worked previously, we need to make a pentagram. Yes. The attack has scrambled everything. We do not have time for trial and error. Think carefully. Are you for real? Do something about the beam of light. Let's dance. <laughs> hey KV, how you doing? Thanks for joining. The world of real emotion has surrounded me. Ah, oh, damn it! I wasn't paying attention. Pedestal yellow. I'm guessing. Woo! An egg-shaped monument. Pick it up. If the game doesn't lag, pick it up. Come on, game. Stop lagging. Um, I'm for real. 
Uh, are you playing on the PS4? Yeah, I'm playing on PS4. Uh, Minecraft. It's Shovel Forge in this game. Also, my game is super laggy and it froze. This is great. Hello. Game load, please. I mean, it's a good thing I saved in the Somnium before I started. Pick up? Yeah. Oh no, my game is frozen. <laughs> my stream is... Oh, whoa. Stream is frozen too. Holy crap! Please pick up! Why you do this to me? Hmm. Why are you doing this to me? Game, please! Uh, is my computer just dying? No, my game. Okay, my computer is working. Internet, are you dying? But that doesn't explain why my game is frozen. Hmm. This is weird. Hello game, please, please pick up. Hmm. <laughs> Please pick up. <sighs> I think I'm going to have to end stream here and I'll just have to pick this up. Next time? <laughs> I'm bad luck at Costa's hat. <laughs> it's not your fault. I think I'll just end stream here and pick it up at this Somnium next time. Oh, okay. People can still see me. I wasn't sure if um, you couldn't still see me, but yeah. My PS4 is not responding, and... Um, my internet seems to be weird. You can hear me clearly. My PS4 just froze. Yeah. Maybe it's something with the connection going into... Because I have my PS4 hooked up to a capture card and capture card hooked up to my computer. So because my computer is being kind of weird, it's like delaying the response to my capture card. I don't know. I can see and hear you, but hella delayed. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm good, just going to have to end stream here. It's a little bit over an hour and a half, so I think this is a good spot. Okay, yeah, I'll just end stream tonight. Um, yeah. Sorry, I'll I'll pick it up right here uh, next week. Uh, <sighs> thanks for joining, y'all. Uh, okay, well, I was really looking forward to how this ended, but I guess we'll just have to wait until next time. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Stay toasty. Have a good night, everyone. Have a good night. Bye! <laughs>